I'm Evelyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we are decorating an apartment. It's been a while since the last one as far as I remember, but it was requested, when was it? On the Christmas Village video maybe or something like that. If I could do another Christmas apartment, I did one last year. I did a very like red and green, like warm brown kind of Christmas apartment, sort of like the Christmas house that I did a couple of weeks ago. So for this one, I really wanted to do something that was a little bit more classic or classy, <laughs> a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit more modern or something like that instead of the usual traditional that I go for when I do these kind of Christmas decor videos, builds, whatever. So yeah, that is what we're doing today. It's a lot brighter, it's very toned down when it comes to color but I still feel like it's very wintry and also very Christmassy just a little bit more toned down than I usually do my Christmas inspired um, interior and you know built and all that stuff so yes that is what we're doing today this is built in the arts quarter if I'm not mistaken or quarters I don't actually know arts quarters is that what it's called I don't fully know um, it's built in Medina Studios apartments I can't see what number it is but it is written in the upper left corner right now so you can see that and it is also written in the description down below in case you want to download this apartment and place it in your game I always write the address um, for my apartment bills in the description down below I can't really do it for my house bills because I don't I don't know the addresses so yeah <laughs> there you go you just have to like kind of figure it out from the footage what exact lot is built on usually but for my apartments I always write down the the uh, exact address so you can place it down if you want to. This apartment is only for one or two sims. Did I make room for a cat as well? I think I did. Something tells me that, that I did. I'm kind of in a pre-recording phase right now so I've been building pretty much non-stop. Well besides from editing this video today I have been building non-stop since I came home from London so I'm just trying to get you know as many videos done as possible before I go to Denmark which I will be in nine days so Sunday next week so yes I am in a hurry just a little bit because I want there to be life on my channel while I'm gone I'll be gone for a whole like nine or ten days so there's a lot to prepare and Making videos take a long time, especially builds, which is what I prefer to focus on, so I'll be stuck behind my computer for the next week. However, I freaking love recording videos for you guys, so it's not that much of a bother, but I do feel like I have to hurry just a little bit. But um, it's all good, everything is fine, but do let me know how your Christmas is going so far. What date is it today? The 14th? So there's only 10 days, well, okay, 10 days for me because we celebrated on the 24th, but I, it's, I suppose it's 11 days is for some of you guys at least <laughs> um, probably the majority of you guys celebrated on the 25th at least so I know they do that over here in the UK but in Denmark we do it on the 24th in the evening we dance around the tree well we walk around the tree <laughs> and sing for the tree and stuff like that and then we open presents and we have the big dinner before that as well so we celebrate on the 24th and that means there's only 10 days left I'm kind of I will say that I'm really looking forward to seeing my family. I've said that before, but it's been a while since I've probably seen all of them, so it's gonna be good to like, you know, see them again, because if, you, if you're new, I do tend to mention this quite a lot, but I live in Scotland, I am from Denmark, and I don't get to see my family all that often, so um, yeah, because you know, it costs money to fly back and forth, and it takes time and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing my family this year because I haven't been home quite that much this year compared to the year before that. So I haven't seen them for what feels like freaking ages and also my friends in Denmark. So that's going to be good as well. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to going home just a little bit. But um, we'll see how it goes. I'll miss my computer and my, my boyfriend <laughs> while I'm gone as well. So there is that. But um, yeah, do let me know how you guys are doing so far for this Christmas. Have you done your Christmas shopping? Have you had any awesome food or anything like that? We actually haven't eaten anything Christmas like yet. Christmas like. We haven't had a proper Christmas dinner here yet, which is kind of weird. 
I miss Christmas food. I freaking love Christmas food, but maybe it'll happen before I go home or something like that. I don't fully really know. But um, yeah, do let me know how you guys are doing. I think I will be doing maybe one or two more Christmas inspired builds. Um, but other than that, I've decided to just focus on the save file because we're so behind and I really want to get it over with. Uh, not over with because I really want it to be good. And uh, I feel like when you say get over with, you kind of it kind it's kind of implied that you're just trying to hurry through it. And I don't want to do that either. I really want it to be good. But I've been working on this save file for, I don't even know, like half a year or maybe more, eight months or something like that. I don't fully know. So... I feel like it's about time that we kind of get to the end phase, but whenever I get one build done, I'm like, yes, this is good, you know you're working on this, but there's always so much more to do. Uh, like the community lots, I need to do some renos before I go home as well, pre-record some of those for you guys as well, I think, so I hope you guys are excited for those. I don't know how those are gonna be, um, how do you say that, received by you guys, because <laughs> I've never done stuff like that before, so that's a little bit nerve-wracking, but hopefully Hopefully you guys will like it, we'll see how it turns out. If it's terrible, I won't show you guys anyways, but you know, um, hopefully everything will turn out fine. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a lot to do for that and this apartment won't be in the safe file by the way, I'm just gonna throw that out there. I already, I already have an apartment for this apartment. I don't remember what it was, beauty YouTuber apartment, maybe something like that. I'm actually only missing, what is it, uh, 888 Spire, which I am planning to pre-record for while I'm gone. And then I'm missing the other bigger one, which is the one that Diego Lobo lives in. So I'm missing those two and then the two penthouses and a tiny one that I'm just gonna do off cam because it's like the lighting in that one is just terrible. It's one of the ones in fashion quarters it's, or fashion district. I think, is it not? Yeah, the long one where it's just, there's a lack of windows in that apartment or something like that. So it's just really, really dark and I don't like it. So I think I'm gonna do that one off cam, maybe make it a starter apartment or something like that. So it won't be the most interesting one to watch anyways, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just very, very dark. It's not my favorite apartment to build in. So I probably won't show you guys here on the channel, but it'll be in the save file at least. So there is that. Yeah, I do think it's a good idea to turn that one into a starter apartment because as far as I remember, the only starter apartment that I had in my save file was one I put in Penipasas' apartment but I swapped it out with the apartment I did right after Get Famous came out for Penny Pizzazz, so she'll be in the save file, actually. Maybe I'll give her some new outfit or something, but um, her apartment will be hers, so that means there's no starter apartment as of right now, so I'll probably end up changing that one, uh, the very dark one, to a starter apartment instead. So there's at least one starter apartment in the save file. You guys have already been warned about this. I am not the biggest fan of doing starter houses so there won't be a lot in my save file I think as of right now there is one I am planning to do one in Oasis Springs as well possibly one in New Crest as well but other than that there is a major lag of starter houses in my save file but that's just because I just I'm not the biggest fan of uh, building starter houses they're not that interesting to me and they're not fun to do for me so yeah I kind of there's there's a, there's lack of of, uh, of starter things starter builds in my save file. Sorry about that, but you know, <laughs> you guys know me. You guys know what I like to build and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys won't mind too much. But um yeah, I think we're actually getting somewhat to the end of this video. I'm gonna do the bathroom in just a little bit, and it's gonna be very simple, very small. I think I am pretty sure by now that I did make room for a cat in this apartment because it's got a bit over here in the corner in just a second, and also a scratch post or whatever you call those post, <laughs> I don't know, scratch tree kind of thing in the living room as well and I put a cat tray, whatever you call those things, here in the bathroom. I hope this bathroom works because it's so like tiny and everything's just kind of pushed together but I didn't know where else to put the cat tray because why would you want that in the kitchen or in the living room or in the bedroom? <laughs> it has to be in the bathroom, at least like that's logical to me because it 
probably smells a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I had to put it out here, but now everything is just kind of a little bit close to each other. So hopefully it works, crossing my fingers for that. But yeah guys, I hope you like this apartment. You can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. Let me know as always if you got any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!